So in games, we lots of time have to deal with sorting our objects. For example, in this specific game, we have the, some decorations, the player, vehicle, road, background, so lots of things that we have uh, to be ordering. And well, lots of times what maybe you have seen in tutorials or courses is that they basically use here the Z index to sort everything. Uh, but that's not actually the best practice because as maybe you have experienced, it is not super expandable, customizable or visually good. Uh, because if I set my coins to the index 3 and then I want my players to be shown the behind, I have to set the Z index to be 2 and, and so back and so forth. So it's not the best thing. So in this specific video, I want to show you a much better system, okay? Um, that for most cases, it is going to be more efficient. And I'm basically talking about using um, the um, draw order, okay? That is like the, the native solution or, or like the solution without having to toggle lots of things. Because what happens is that Godot draws things from top uh, of the hierarchy to the bottom. So first it is drawing the background on top the road, on top the trail, on top the player, on top the vehicles, etc. Uh, because, for example, here, if, if all these objects are with the index of 0, okay, because, of course, if I change here, I don't know, the ordering of this to 5 of the player, of the trade, okay, or actually to the, of the, um, of the player, okay, and I put it on 5, it doesn't matter if I put it over here, it's always going to show on top, because every single object has a D index of 0. But if I put the player over here, okay, firstly, what Goda does, draws the background, sorry, draws the player, then on top of the background, okay? Uh, but like this, it is going to look correct. But the difference is that the player is going to be drawn be, be, um, um, behind, for example, the road itself. Uh, so basically, well, when you are dealing with sorting your nodes, your objects, uh, well, you have to do a little bit of experimentation while playing and seeing what you like exactly. But the key thing is this, the key concept is this one, basically. Always use like the native draw order of Godot. And... Uh, here comes a, also another question. How do I handle or manage things that I instantiate at runtime? So in this specific game, the main scene is quite empty, okay? But in runtime, we spawn vehicles, coins, uh, decorations. Uh, so how you basically do this is that you create some 2D nodes, okay, as containers, and you sort them, okay? Um, you can, as quick test, okay, in each of these ones, instantiate one of the objects, so uh, I will go over here and instantiate some decorations, okay, and lastly here a coin, okay, so now with this I can start playing around, so I will select firstly all of them, and well, I will put, I know, the vehicle over here, I will put then the coin over here, and the decoration over here, okay. So I can start thinking, mm, what do I like to be put on top? Um, if the coin is moving around, well, maybe what I do want to do is to always have the coin on top. Because if I put it behind the decoration, for example, like this, it's going to, at least for me, look quite weird, okay? Uh, I don't like that effect, so that's why I decide to put it on top of the decoration. The same thing with the vehicle, so I think that right there it does look correct because it is going behind us as it would be like in a 3D kind of space or to give the game some depth. It also goes behind the coins because if it went on top of the coins, I believe that that wouldn't look good. So you can see here how you can start playing around a little bit and actually um, sort your things like this. And the cool thing is that if, if for some reason you want to add an object in the middle or change the sorting, you can just add over there your own uh, node 2D name it up properly and, I know, position it over here and call it other container, I don't know. And there you have it and you don't have to go over these same objects and modify the Z index or whatever. You just modify the, the order of the hierarchy. And just um, for you to know, you then grab these references of these containers uh, in code. The easiest way is to um, drag it over here and be, now hold down control and um, stop pressing your left mouse button and there you have the reference automatically created I was receiving an error because I already had the reference over there but well, you do get um, the idea and then whenever you want to spawn something for example here I'm spawning a vehicle I do the usual thing, I create the instance and then I basically call vehicles container which is uh, this exact same container 
and I call dot alt child and then I it's over here okay quite quite simple and straightforward it is not that using zindex is bad uh, there could be some specific usages in some specific cases uh, when you just want to sort one or two things it is not that bad uh, but for more complex things and you can see here that this is not like a commercial game it is not close to something that you can publish in some platform and, and actually make a living out of it uh, so basically when you're creating something serious and you have lots of things maybe this is a good approach that you could take because with Z index you may have like dozens of objects that you want to sort and Z index is not expandable this is you just do this do this as you want and everything is sorted as you wish um, so well I do believe that is quite a good system if you have another one let me know in the comments down below to share it with us if you are serious about leveling up your Godot skills check out my course in less than six hours, you'll master Godot fundamentals while building this amazing project. Links in the description. See you there.